What's up, guys? I am Shade, and today we are going to be talking about the arcane realm, all things associated with the arcane realm, such as corruption and stone sentinel. And are they worth putting your time and money into? But right now, where are we? We are in the basement of the house, TD, uh, next to the tomb where you summon your heroes. And I'm just going to call him Mordekaiser because I can't remember his actual name, and he reminds me of an awful lot of some certain character from another video game so we're just going to call him Mordekaiser for now but anyway uh, this is the realms and as you know there is a five percent chance after you beat the current realm that you will receive corruption and he is a pretty good tower from what I've seen he has some synergy going on with stone sentinel uh, I actually haven't really played with them together and I don't know if we can beat this realm with our current setup I'm going, since we don't have any ranks or anything on these two, I'm going to be leaning heavily on Angel Greed and our Nightmare Skull Shot with a boost of Demon Mage. I think they boost each other, so I have to keep Demon Mage out of the mix or the boost will get all mix, mixed up. But to get in here, as you can see, it's pretty blocked off. The only way to get in is to get Realm Keys. I think you can, there's a 5% chance of beating a floor five or higher to get a Realm Key or you can just straight up buy them from that dude with soul gems. First things first, I did notice this over here. E, these guys, man, Necromancer, you did have your chance. You even got a buff and you still got locked up. I feel bad for you. Sage, you were so mid. You were cool looking though. That's a, that's a shame for real. Uh, anyway, let's run over here and talk to this guy. All right, so let's just buy some because, so we have some. And then we're going to talk to Mordekaiser here. Um, we're going to enter the realms. This area is one of my favorite areas in the whole game right now. Look how awesome that is. And you can see the arcane heroes are lined up over here. The one, uh, These are the portals. Uh, you kind of have to time it with your friends so you're all in here at the same time if you want to go with them. First, we're going to claim some rewards. And then uh, we're actually going to go back in and look at our towers. Now, this is Corruption. This is there's 2.9k in existence right now, and if you take a look at him, he looks really cool. Gotta love the corrupted samurai. He's got a fair amount of damage. His attack speed is a little on the slow side, but it's not it's not the worst. He's no sage, so I don't think he's gonna get locked up anytime soon. His range is actually pretty decent, and he both is a demon, human, and arcane. Now, as we can see, he boosts stone sentinels. And it looks like he boosts them by 50%. Demon Mage is like one of the strongest boosts for towers in the game right now. When you have them fully upgraded, it's like 0.72. So even so, unless you were going to go all in and upgrade boosts, I don't know that you necessarily want to do that. But first, let's see if what we're boosting. So that would be Stone Sentinel. He's a mythic. You can get him from the tomb. I actually spent like... 15,000 soul gems just to get him even when he was boosted in the tomb. Uh, his damage is 8,500, which isn't terrible. The main killer here right now is the 0.2 attack speed and the low range. He does do full AoE damage in range, but these are pretty big things to overcome, right? Now, I don't know if he actually, what his synergy is, because it says receive a big boost when you're an arcane hero. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out today. Before we get into that, I want to thank you guys for getting me to 1,500 subs. To celebrate, I'm giving away five Mythic Urns, a Secret Urn, a Lucifer Urn, and a Shiny Skull Shot. And you can get that by checking out the Gaming with Shade official Discord link in the description below. I'd love to see you guys over there. I will be coming out with tier lists in the next week, uh, both the anti-tier list and my regular tier list. So check that out. We're going to head on in here and get this going. But like I said, I don't know if we're going to win this because... I don't have any ranks on like half the team, so we'll see how it goes. And that attack speed on Sentinel is slow, and that worries me very much. We might have to take this back to floor four, but we'll see how it goes. How are you guys liking the game so far? Um, I'm still loving it. There's so much to grind for, and we love that grind. All right, so this is Kojiki Realm. You can see the rewards right here. Voodoo tokens. You get five voodoo tokens for at 20%. That's pretty good. Uh, you get a mystery urn. Uh, premium urns are always nice, and I think this only takes seven or eight minutes, so it's 
pretty good, but it's a little expensive if you're spending soul gems. This would be after you've already gotten most of your other things, especially things off of the anti-tier list, which we'll get into in the next video. Corruption urn, always nice. That means you could farm a shiny eventually if you were big ballin' and had the money to do so, and time. Key's always nice, so another free shot. Uh, Geisha, I am still trying to get that one. All right, so let's go into Shinju Town. We're just gonna stick with difficulty one because we don't know what her team's gonna do, but let's find out. So here we are in Shinju Town. Real quick before the game starts, we have 54 seconds to talk about this. These little uh, symbols over here will boost your towers. I think it's about 25%, which is pretty nice. You are gonna notice that the town does go all the way over here, and these straightaways are good, especially for our skull shot. We'll probably put one over here, maybe. I wanna give Stone Sentinel and Corruption their own little area over here. Usually AOE you want up front, so we're gonna put them over here to try to get them away from our other boosts while the rest of the team holds it down in the back. The area you want to guard the most is probably right here because this is where everything comes together. You know, once that gets breached, you're pretty well dead. We're gonna do Greed Angel to start because you get 2,500 gold starting. Now this first wave, honestly, you if you wanted early money, it'd probably be better to put your tower a little bit over this way so we could already be getting damage and money going. And then all the enemies don't come in to your kill box at the same time, which means you need to get down AOE as fast as possible. Gotta really keep your eye on the monies. I will probably put one, start creeping over this way. I have not played this yet with Angel being boosted, which, wow, he does a lot more damage once you get him leveled up, so that's pretty nice. We really like that. But then also, which means we get money faster because we have greed on it, which means we can pop down our skull shot right in the middle, which will hopefully mean we don't die. Nice. Okay, let's down a couple more of these. And you want to set them to last. That way, if enemies do get past you, the angels can pick those off while he continues to shoot the whole row and you don't lose DPS. All right, this is a relatively quick map, so we will be boosting our angels, but as soon as we have enough money, we're gonna put down our other stuff. These guys are just our main kill squad and we would like to live to show you the rest of the video. So let's get that done. All right, so our angels are maxed out. Let's pull them back a little bit, shall we? We can hold it back from back here. Let's give them a little extra support in the form of a demon mage. All right, so that means we need to get over here for this part. All right, so let's get down. Wow, that, wow, look at that attack animation. That is so cool. Uh, because he does have less than one attack speed, we are going to put him on strongest. And we'll probably pop up a couple more of these over here just because that's really cool. But you know what? We put him too close to the boost. Um, now, you know what? That's fine. Okay. So we have one that's being boosted by Demon Mage and one that's regular. Um, let's put down a couple more. Why are we going this way? I think these guys can all hold down those two entrances and then the bag, the boss comes out of this way. Um, usually I would put a skull shot right here, but we're going to see if Stone Sentinel can do anything. All right, so they should technically be boosted. All right, let's see. Let's put one over here. All right, so he's, his damage got boosted quite a bit there. As you can see, he's being boosted. Wait a minute. So, wait, that's really interesting. So this isn't even near one of these uh, corruptions, and he's still being boosted. Well, let's not put it right there. Let's put it here. So it at least is hitting the people nearby. All right, so we're going to put some of these over here, because it looks like it doesn't matter where we put them as long as we have an arcane in our group, which is kind of pretty cool, really. His damage, 12,750 attack speed, Point two range 19. Mm, he didn't really get any, like now he's in range of the other guy and it doesn't seem like he got any closer. It didn't really seem like he boosted too much. And I'm pretty sure if you bring in Demon Mage, it messes up everybody's buffs. So, hmm. But let's get the rest of these guys out. You can place eight of these, that is pretty sweet. And, like I said, put them on strongest, worth four. So if we put you over here, 
that's the only thing with these seals, right? So we only cover that part while we do get a 25% boost. Most of his range is wasted. This would not be the tower that you want to put over there. We want to make sure that we cover our backs too. So let's get these guys just upgraded. Angel's doing a great job. Look at all that money. Now, that being said, bye Angel, you did a great job, but we're gonna have to say goodbye to you for a minute because we need to get all these other guys out here. We'll just put these back here as our last line of defense case the boss gets passed. Here comes the boss. Now, if you take a look at these guys, their damage actually gets pretty decent, but they are slow. Um, okay, so the boss is causing these people to fall in love. They are love struck. You can sell them and bring them back. Is she taking enough damage that we're actually going to beat her? I don't know, but basically the stat block on this guy looks pretty good now when he's buffed, but it's still just about the point where Nitro is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's the new junkyard hero you get from getting to 150. We're getting there. I think we got this one. Sadly, I think Corruption did a fair amount of job. Ooh, we even got a Mythic Urn. Um, but I don't think Stone Sentinel is really holding his end of the bargain. And I think because it's only getting one boost, it seems to be about 50%. I almost feel like the boost it's getting is from Corruption and it's not really doing getting its own boost. Maybe I'm wrong. Feel free to let me know in the comments. But because there seems to be issues with the way buffs stack, I feel like this synergy is only half there and we're not seeing the part that maybe Stone Sentinel brings, which, so for me to spend 15,000 gems on it, I was looking for this to be a really bad tower until that was there, and then it was going to like blossom into some ultimate killing machine, and I don't think it's quite worth it yet. All right, so looking at this closer, its special info is that it's basically powered by the arcane. And since that's not quite happening, even when it's boosted, it's really only about where Nitro is, if you can actually beat the arcane map to get corruption, then you can probably beat the infinite maps to get Boom Bear, Skull Shot, and Nitro. So should you go for this? Probably not. But that being said, if we pull up corruption one more time, these stats, even if you count out the boosts, just ignore the boosts for Sentinels, it's actually really good. Now, the only downside is, of course, paying the 500 gems to get your shot at getting him. But like I said, you know what you're investing in. If you actually get to the point where you don't really need to do anything specific with your soul gems, you've already gotten like your shiny Archangel, then I would highly recommend it's a pretty good uh, farm for the premium urns. It only takes seven or eight minutes. You have a chance of getting a lot of decent stuff. As we know right now, most of the currency for trading involves getting these premium urns and the arcane realm is by far the fastest way to do that. It's like I said, seven or eight minutes. And I would highly recommend if you're already at the end game, just dump all your stuff in here. Try to get your shiny corruption. I think it could be really good, um, especially when we get other things that react with arcane towers. He could be pretty legit. And just because the season just started and there's only one map in there, I could see them already bringing out another one before the season's even over. And he could interact very well with a new arcane tower. And if you can get those other towers from the infinite modes, they're definitely big players in the anti-tier list. What is the anti-tier list? Stay tuned and find out. If you like my content, sub. If you don't, don't. We'll see you next time, No Life Fam. Much love.